Hey, what is going on, people? This is Elder Pinchy, and I am back for another TMNT Rant Wave review for this week's episode entitled Casey Jones versus The Underworld. So basically, it starts out with a pretty good recap of what happened um, right after the invasion. And basically, everybody's trying to get themselves back together. The city is broken, but trying to rebuild. You see people trying to help each other out more. But you also see that the scum of the underground crime world is still doing their thing, and it's gotten a little more ridiculous. Um, thanks to this, you know, thanks to the chaos after the the, the uh, invasion. And Casey Jones, after recapping this, realized all he did was was go and get supplies you know he was basically the supply boy the delivery boy and he was kind of mad that he missed all on on the action i mean he, he's like casey jones should have been in that fight so his anger kind of gets in the way and he decides to um do the solo vigilante thing again go out in the streets and go stop some crime runs into the purple dragons while robbing a bank and at first i'm like since when do these guys deal with explosives they're I'm, I'm sorry, but the but the purple dragons, yeah, they're not a threat until until Casey, after beating up the first three Stooges, meets this version of Hun. And uh, I remember Hun in the 2003 series being a little bit more bulky, a um, little a little uh, little more slow, but also very strong. And this one, he's Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was a criminal in a movie, basically, and. Uh, he does it quite well. Um, I like this version. I, I um, really do. It does remind me a lot of Bruce Lee, but I think that's what they were going for. So, hey, all right, Bruce Lee is a crime boss. Go right ahead. Um, uh, hun, hun. So, um, after Casey gets beat by, by Hun, he comes back to the, to the turtle's lair, tries to explain himself, and they're like, okay, so how, ba so how bad did you beat the purple dragons? Because everybody knows that the Purple Dragons ain't nothing, right? And he's like, well, at least I stopped him from stealing the money. And then he gets clowned. He gets laughed at hard. Turtles are trying to, to rebuild the, the lair. Everything is ransacked. Um, and Casey's mad that they're not out there with him stopping crime. They're like, we just got home. We're trying to rebuild here, you know? And he's getting laughed at. I'm like, oh, man. I, I felt bad for him. Like somebody go with him, rap somebody, you know, somebody go with it, go with him. And then he goes out and uh, decides to do the, the solo act again, and sees that the foot are out, and Shredder is front and center, riding one of the choppers. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, since when does Shredder come out in the open like this? It must be something serious, right? We cut to an Italian restaurant. Um, it, um, traditional movie style Italian, Italian restaurant, music's playing, and you got the Don sitting there eating spaghetti. Now, like, he, he's, he's big, he's bulky, he's eating a giant plate of spaghetti and meatballs, and he's talking to Shredder, like, in times like this, it's good for businessmen like us, don't you think? And Shredder's like, like us, you're just a gangster. Right? I'm like, oh, okay. So, Shredder, as we would expect, it has his hands in every type of crime in the city. He's got the he's got the Russian gangs working for for him through Stranko. He's got the you know he's got Chinatown working for him through the, through the Purple Dragons. He's got the South American gangs uh, working for him through through Zever. So he's got his hand in everything. So he's like, you swear your allegiance to me. And I will protect you, basically, and, and that kind of, you know, that kind of deal. And at first, the Don is very, he, he, he's like, huh, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't get it. Next thing, you know, next thing you know, Shredder gives him some incentive, and uh, yeah, now he's got the Italian mafia in this version of New York under his belt. So Shredder ain't playing around. What is he looking for? He's looking for some sort of chemical compound. Um, he's now we're thinking that he's trying to create some sort of retro mutagen. That ends up being um, not 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 being the case at all, and it kind of saddens me because you do know that Shredder does care for Karai, even though he has, you know, his own way of showing it. I mean, yes, he's a tyrant, but he does have a, a bit of a heart, you know what I mean? And uh, so Casey Jones, he goes out and basically plays spy and fi and finds out what they're up to, 
he almost gets caught like immediately. Shredder's instincts just go like, okay, who are you? He's playing a bus boy at the at the um, Italian restaurant, and he's like, if I ever, I better not ever see your face again. He runs out of there, and then <laughs> and then finds out what the heck they're up to. So, it's. It's funny, Casey is actually getting some work done. He's, you know, it's really dangerous, and uh, Raphael, you know, and he tells Raphael, and Raphael goes with him to, uh, um, uh, to the docks to figure out what's, you know, what the heck's going on, almost get into a fight with, with uh, Razhar and Fishface, and he says the classic line from the, line, from the 1990s movie, um, your class is pain 101, the instructor's keys to Casey Jones. As soon as I saw, as soon as I heard that, I'm like, okay, that's perfect. Uh, it's just, it was, it was funny. Now, they find this chemical compound, and we have no idea what it is at first. Uh, thanks to Mikey and his fast food, and his, and his snack obsession, eating what looks to be their version of Pringles, um, and running down the ingredients of those Pringles, you know what I mean? And, uh, uh, they find out that the that the chemical compound might be additives to the you know to the food, and apparently the factory that this stuff is made on is in Chinatown, which is the Purple Dragon's turf. So um, Hun is a point is appointed leader of this particular project, and uh, we get a whole we get a whole um, group fight with every with everybody involved inside this factory that has a giant vat of a cheesy mixture. That the that apparently uh, the foot needs to uh, create this crazy um, chemical that they're going to use on Karai, and it was pretty good. I mean, Casey Jones, he was you know he, he's hot headed, he's still a kid. So when I so when I'm looking at him, I'm like, um, he still has a lot to learn, obviously. But all he wants to do is protect the city. We can totally understand that, and uh, he really showed he really showed his his. Uh, his skills once again in this episode. Yes, he was kind of sidelined during the invasion, but um, I think he's going to be more of a, well, he says he's not going to be more of a team player. He's still a solo vigilante, but we all know that he's going to learn to play nice eventually. So um, let me know what you guys think of this episode. What do you think of Hun? What do you think of this new version of Hun? Um, I love how it picked up where um, where everything else left off, and uh, yeah, altogether it was a solid episode. Let me know what you guys think. What do you think of Hun? What do you think of Shredder's plan? And what do you think is going to happen next? Comment below. Let me know, and I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and never be normal.